Greetings from Arizona here in the winter time where it is now 74 degrees at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm just giving you a quick tour of my yard. <laughs> Unfortunately, this tree did not make it in the summertime, did not get in nearly enough water, even though I did water it every day. It was pretty hot summer. And uh, my grass is somewhat green now for the first time in a very long time after taking a beating from the sun all summer long. But the reason for this video is to give you an update on my progress, or I should say uh, my attempts now to get rid of the algae problem in my 200 gallon salt water tank that we could see through the window there. I had a couple of people private message me to tell me to check my RO unit that I was using. And yeah, I did buy an inexpensive RO unit and I think that's my problem with the green hair algae, guys. I did pay the price. I got a little bit um, more than I can bargain for with paying a good price for an RO unit. So beware, they, the membranes do wear, it's a good product, it did work. I don't recommend it for a large tank because the amount of water that you have to make. But I want to do, so, I, I don't want to take anything away from the product itself. It did get down to zero PPM on the TDS meter from 800. However, it did not last very long. It only lasted about a month and a half or two months before that started wearing down. And I'm glad somebody brought that to my attention to check that because I never would have thought that in about two months time that that was the case. However, I just did purchase from a local company here in Arizona. They are based out of Tempe. Uh, Spectra Pure unit. This is a five stage. I bought the additional DI. I have two DI on here. You know, I have the membrane, the carbon, and I think that's like this, just the sediment filter in the beginning there. But I want to show you, I have two TDS meters and I also have a pressure gauge. I love this unit. Also a flush kit. This looks a lot similar to the bulk reef supply unit. I'm not sure the difference in performance, but I gotta tell you that I hear these a second to none, and I'm glad I went with this one and spent the extra money. Yeah, I could have went with bulk resupply, but I know too many people here in Arizona that have a Spectra Pure already, and they are not sorry that they spent more money on this than the one from bulk resupply. So I'm gonna show you here the TDS meters. So the water from my garden hose is coming out right now at 389 parts per million. It's going to 32 parts per million after it gets from this membrane, which is amazing. So I want to show you this. Here's my first DI unit reading at zero ppm. And my second DR unit, reading again at zero parts per million. So, and you know what? I just took this out of the box. It's going through its so-called break-in period. I'm supposed to let it go for about two and a half gallons. This is a 90 gallon per day unit. I think I'm gonna upgrade it to 180 gallons per day by adding another membrane on top. But we will see. Oh, also I wanna show you the pressure gauge. Sorry, this is like out of focus, but that's the pressure gauge. And I'm right about 60 PSI, which is awesome, off of the hose. So I want to talk about this. This is actually really good. This came right out of the box. It's going through a breaking period. It's only made about maybe half a gallon of water. I know this is green on the inside. That's not the water right there. That's the bottom of the bucket from changing out this. This was my originally my wastewater. I'm just putting wastewater in it now. This is actually, I got long enough tubes to go into a drain in my house and still use this portable. But it's made about half a gallon, so I'm still not within the break-in period. It's still coming out at zero ppm. It originally came out at one, but now that it looks like it's breaking in, it's coming out at zero. So I have no doubt in my mind that after several water changes with the Spectra Pure that my tank should really start to look beautiful and clear up again. 
and I can start adding new corals again and really have a tank that's that's really thriving and flourishing and that's really the goal for all of us but this is where it's at if anybody has any questions about it please hit me up personal message or send, write a comment please rate and subscribe so we can check out my progress on my tank but you guys have a great day and I hope you're staying warm out there if you're not here on the west coast